Hello and welcome back to Monster Train. Why are my shoulders at such a weird angle? Uh, it's starting to do with the new upgrade to the face tracking thing. I can't help it. My shoulders are pretty straight as they are and I can't adjust them. It's weird. <laughs> okay, let's begin with a standard run. And I need a little bit more experience and then I can get the, uh, what's it called, the final level for Umbra. Should only take me one run, hopefully. Talos and then Arcus. Good, we don't have to deal with statues at least. Uh, let's put... Let's do Exiled Melting Remnant and Exiled Umbra in that order. Umbra first, Melting Remnant. Oh, Melting Remnant up here, like so. still have reforms. I haven't won with these since rank 3. Cool. You get actions quite nicely. Gorge abilities trigger an additional time. Yes please. As for my champion, I'll give you. Let's see my options. You can do spikes to grant spikes. Or make him endless, but he comes back stronger every time. I think I'll start with endless. But he costs more each time. Doesn't really matter. 25 damage onto him is pretty good. I think at the start I'll put him down the bottom so he can die quickly on his first go and I'll gradually moving up, move him upwards each time, probably. said you're at the front and you're endless and they'll actually feed you as well gain an action for each friendly unit death but that's a once off I'll do this here to deal damage you here to finish them off. That's only going to work if I protect you. You are endless. There's a benefit if I let you die. And I can kill the things over there with those. And these. Final wave. I'll bring you back for easy damage. Put that out. I can't afford another reform, so everything here can eat. Have at him. <laughs> This endless choice is pretty good, I reckon. Okay, I've got, I've, I think I've got Entombed Explosive, don't I? I don't have either of the first two. Yeah, I've got two of those, but neither of the first two. Restore 10 health and apply Burnout. 
or apply five damage and apply burnout. I think the free option for now, because we don't really have a way of heals yet. I don't have any of these. I'll grab the packed morsels. They're strong. And uh, Wickless Baron, because if I, I could put the Wickless Baron behind my Endless Child, he's going to keep dying, and he's going to get stronger every time the child dies. He, he profits off of this. Harvest. When a unit on this floor dies, he gets... Five rage. <laughs> Let's go. And multi strike onto the big sludge as well. We're going at it this game. <laughs> Still don't know why my shoulders are being so weird. Is it? do with the camera maybe um, guess that works now a unit draft I would like another unit draft armor 10 I can easily kill armor 10 I've got a crazy good set of cards that I've started off with right now I've got multi strike on the rage guy Let's see. You down here to profit off of the child's death. And three morsels. One explosive. And a few things. And one here that can deal damage. You'll die as well. Too bad. You have to go up here to prevent whoever gets through. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, but you're huge. Hey, okay, well, I'll put you... You're not so good there, are you? If I put you here, things will still get through, won't they? What can I do? I can let them through, they're not, they're only going to do four damage between them. If I put you down here anyway, because I'd rather you here than them, then most things die. I'll put you at the front to make some difference on the top. Restore 10 health and apply burnout because I don't want I want them to die by the time I get to the end so hopefully I can put them down the bottom. No, that's bad. We put the burnout on you. I don't know. I'll hold off. <laughs> Let's get those actions, might as well. Thanks. And some stewards in the middle, why not? It's perfect. Another explosive. A morsel. Do we win down here? We actually win. Let's just take the victory while it's being offered. <laughs> They're crazy good, aren't they? That's the boss. They sap the strength of my units. He does 10 damage. He only go down like to 6 damage, but 6 damage and multi-strike is still really good. 
Got that, got that. Do I have hallowed drippings? I don't. I've got primal dust, not hallowed drippings. So I'll take those. Not really interested in space prisms. Shadow Eater would be good. Something I can put on the bottom floor, perhaps. Or on the middle floor. Just somewhere where I can feed it morsels and it, it kills everything. If it's got weak health at the back. Kind of want to go this way so I can afford more upgrades. Then again, duplicate. Duplicate's good, but I'd rather duplicate when I've got another upgrade on it. Cannot afford quick. Or I spend. No, spend first. Health and damage shield. Could do it on the Shadow Eater. And I'll save a good upgrade later on for the Big Sludge. Hoping I can get one. A mysterious figure races towards the train with the winged not far behind. No time to explain. Take these and hide them for me. I can't afford to be caught with them now, so I'll have to come back for them later. Don't worry, you'll be compensated generously later on. Quickly now. Do you take something from the mystery man? The dangerous ones. My pie takes three damage. If I take Dante's candle. <laughs> Uh, how many is them? Three of them. I'll take the dangerous ones. You have my thanks and don't worry, I'll be seeing you soon. Hopefully it's soon, because that's a lot of actions I'm going to be missing out on. <laughs> A little bit worried. Is that enemies gonna heal one health? Is that like one health on the front enemy every turn or something? Or is it more sinister? Oh, enemies deal one damage on death. Perfect! I can put my hero out the front. Okay, I'll put you up here because you're a good way to kill things at the back for nothing more than a morsel. Put you here. Let's put one damage shield onto you so you can at least get an attack out, maybe. No, that didn't work. Oh, it was worth a shot. Big sludge there, child here. Perfect. You're costing two to send out now. Okay, I'll thank you. Two actions, three damage. No. The little fade, endless. When it dies, it goes to the draw pile. If I discard it, it'll be like another three turns before I get it back. I won't get it back until the boss. I definitely don't want that. I want you to live longer. I've got nowhere to put you. You'll die pretty quickly, won't you? You're just going to die when I, if I put you out. Could have put you here, but... Nah. Not now. More 
fossils. Uh, what's going to protect us the most? 2, 2, and that does 10. I guess you at the front. That's not really going to help us, is it? First things first, I don't want the damage. I want those to die. I want you to live. I think the best way is to just put some things out here to take some of the shots. His health's not looking too good though. Nothing I can do up there. Oh no. More actions. Train steward in front for protection. Morsels up here. No, link those. That didn't help. Damage shield on you, because I need you to survive. You're doing all the damage. Get rid of the candle. Get a unit back. Explosive. here for the damage because that's going to duplicate the damage amount. Everything else down here to at least kill that. I can get you back. Strange unit choice to get back, okay. 10 health and 2 burn it. How much damage shield? 1 damage shield. So what's going to happen? He's going to attack. You're going to attack. If I put you here, that's enough to make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> Remove all burnout and debuff effects from a unit. I'd very much like that. Not terribly interested in those. Space could be useful. I've got a few things that give me actions. I've got a lot of things that take up a lot of space. What I'd really like to do is to put the big sludge, the where is he? The wickless baron and the child all on the same floor. There's the child, yeah. An extra card though. Let's see, is an extra card worth it? Not really. More space is the best option. I want to get rid of some cards and I want to get a trinket. Friendly units gain rage 3 whenever they lose a stack of burnout. Or 5 damage when something enters. What's the burnout look like? It would be good for the things that I reform. I don't have anything with burnout at the moment. So I'll grab the infused mallet for that specific reason. Here I'll get rid of two train stewards. When he dies he gets 70 damage. Hmm. When he kills he gets damage and spikes permanently. I think I have to do 
spikes as well. Because that's a permanent upgrade. Which means he gets the spikes between floors as well. He'll be really spiky by the end. Just coins. Okay, well, I have to start with you. And you. What gives you the spikes? After dealing a killing blow, I see. Now I can't put that out. Whoops. Want the big sludge to go here. One. Oh, it's not any, is it? everything on the bottom floor but then things are going to start getting through like him if I put you at the top you'll kill the first one which means I can put you down here to die and to help them out damage. Let's get those morsels. Okay, what can I do with these? I think things are going to get through whatever I do. Unless I do this. But you'll die on the first hit. Can this protect you? It can. As for these, more protection on the bottom. I guess I'm taking damage. Mm, that's rough. Okay, at least we don't take damage now. That's good. <laughs> Let's get all those actions back. You all die. Perfect. How spiky are you? Thirteen. I'm going to take a bit of damage if I put you out. You'll survive two shots. Or I can put you out. I'm not going to be drawing very much good. I think we can take the damage. At least we kill this with the spikes, which I think increases the spikes more for later on. Yeah, 15 spikes now, just for that. Are you burnout? out? No. Almost. 
Deal damage equal to the deaths. A lot of my things are profiting when things die. Apply damage shield to friendly units. That's good. Especially if I use that one consume thing that gives me a lot more actions. Just that guy wanted me to hold on to his dangerous stuff. Can you take those back? They've been a pain. You've been damaging my pyre. The mysterious figure returns, this time much more composed than last you met. Ah, my loyal friend, what a pleasure to see you again. Please excuse my manners from before. I was rather occupied at the time. My name is Dante, a collector of rare artifacts and renowned pain in the ass to all, uh, to all those with wings at your service. Now I do appreciate your help in my time of need. I was able to evade those insufferable creatures thanks to your help. And for carrying the load, I think I'll join you if you'll have me, of course. When played, gain a stack of multi-strike for each blight card in your deck. And the cloak. So every blight card gives me more magic power. We will have you, sure. Got an achievement. Dante's Inferno. <laughs> I look forward to our work together. More trinkets. Maximum trinkets. Let's pair up my stewards. The two remaining stewards I've got. There we go. Spells get an extra upgrade slot. More magic power. A few things here that are powered up from the magic power already. How many blight cards have I got? Is it just the one? Oh, he, he left me with the candles. You thought he'd, he'd think he'd take them back, but no. Clearly not. Spells get an extra upgrade slot. Could be handy if I if I actually upgraded my spells, which I haven't. Go with the magic power because I can. Not too interested in the coins again. Fifteen spikes. Let's just put you out so you can die nice and quick. You can go at the top. Could do one damage shield just so you can get an attack out and so that they die. Just makes you spikier in the long run. Perfect. Four damage, you'll survive the first the first one here. <laughs> Nothing I can do for the top though. Four multi strike. It's really good. If I put you down the bottom, you're going to die, so I'll put you down in front of these two in a second. Can't do anything for them, they'll do full damage to my main health. Just 
top level's not doing too good. I can stop the heals. If I do that, I can't play my main guy. I'd rather put the steward out. Main guy down here. That takes care of a lot of things. Strike only really makes sense there. Explosive can go here. And child can go here again. Let's see how that works. Almost. Here and one up top. <laughs> These candles get in my way, don't they? that in front. That's where I went wrong. That thing's meant to go in front like a damage shield, not... Oh no, it had sweep anyway, didn't it? No, it had multi-strike. Whoops. Oh no! Oh. How much do I need? It? Two th 1,500. Let's try again. <laughs> This will be interesting. Awoken and Umbra. I haven't used the Exiled Awoken leader before, so I don't really know what they're about. Consume or Daze? Let's Daze them. So what's your deal? Um. Add sting spells to my hand and do more damage when I cast a spell. Or quick and make other things quick when I cast a spell. Feel like sting is what we're going for here. Just hope it's not the one that gets rid of all my spells. Got the plus sign. It is the one that removes buffs. Good thing I didn't pick quick. Encant for damage.
collecting everything. What's this do? Apply two damage and get an extra card. So that's what you're about. Damage ups. Damage up, sure. <laughs> Using all my spells there just to do his damage up that bit more. You die anyway. Might as I put it onto the one who survives. Close. I can sting first, then I can plink. Plink to the wrong one. And again, what are the odds? You only get one damage off anyway. You'll get no damage off if I can make you stronger. So that this dies, then nothing gets to the top anyway. got sting, don't I? No, I don't have any stings directly. <laughs> Could get more stings. Sharpen and regen. Let's, let's get a sting directly. <laughs> Rage, Ember Drain and some action, even if it gives me less action later on. And I'll take the Shadow Eater again. That thing I can put the morsels to to kill the back line. Because I feel like this guy, he's good at killing something really strong at the front. He's not so good at killing a row of five weak things like what we were just facing. Here we go sweep and get damage for the sweep. Perfect. Hold over onto one of these. Perhaps one of the plinks can have hold over. That's that's silly. Plink's the starting card. Rage and Denver Drain. Hold over. It's three action plus rage. <laughs> With no bad side to it. one strong sting the sting that I start with <laughs> and it's better to be cheaper maybe one of the root seeds they're good now one of the plinks because the plink has a chance to actually give me a damage or a health modifier if it kills and a stronger one at that not two onto it but five be 
that off. You at the front. You at the back to sweep and sting everything. Get up here, so I can feed you. Or I can think that works just as well. I should have played these before I went for those. Uh, the morsels here. Got some more morsels. <laughs> Do something like this. Nobody to place, so let's just make him a bit stronger. Wow. Set that up so I can put the train steward there, perhaps. We already win. Restore 10 health. That's good, I don't have any way to heal up my person yet. And deal damage based on the healing. Not interested. Want the trinket, the artifact. Get an extra card when I play my third card. Sting spells. Get 20 magic power. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> sure. I should have done that after this in case it's the one that asks for health. Get three calcified amber. Get three dead weight. Or get three vengeful shards. I think I'll just leave. I'm not interested in any of those at the moment. I'd rather survive. probably should have taken one because I've got a lot of cards in my deck, especially when I start getting all those stings. If I look at my champion. Sting and incant for damage. <laughs> Just up the damage as much as I can before I kill them. So I want the one at the back to kill, ideally. doing the most harm you are you can 
move to the front. Stop their damage. That's the trick. Now I can do the rest here. and move it to the front. Mm. I'd like to take you out first with this. Maybe with a blink. No such luck. Ember Drain, damage, blink, sting, sting, and more damage. That's pretty good. Use everything. Start by getting some more actions again. You've got 35 health. Let's heal. Deal damage based on the healing. Apply all my stings to the boss. All my free spells here. Damage not worth it. If it doesn't kill, I'm better off putting a damage onto my champion. Are you endless? No, that's Ember Drain and Rage. Okay. <laughs> Killed with a spell. I'd like the Blazing Bolts again, they were really good. Got a Shadow Eater, don't I? Or is it, why is it choosing to give me another one? I'd rather the Crucible Warden. They're good at defending. Space, action, I don't need to worry about draws. Would I rather space or actions? Actions aren't terribly concerning me either, because I have this. So I'll go space for now. So I can always get actions back. Let's go this way. I need that unit upgrade. Let's see, quick. You need to go quick. Quick on you is not going to do anything. Quick on you. Hmm. Quick on the shattered shell. <laughs> Health upgrade onto the Crucible Warden and damage shield onto the shattered shell. 
So if something sweeps back, it can take three hits. I can give the champion sweeping as well. And apply rooted to the attack unit. So things stay behind. It's a good health upgrade, but I do like the idea of another sweeper. Artifact, if I give them multi strike. Can I survive multi strike? I guess it depends what I put out the front, doesn't it? I need the Crucible Warden. Or the Shadow Eater at the front. That's not ideal though, is it? But for an artifact, I have the health to spare, so I'll just do it anyway. Artifacts are usually always worth it. <laughs> hmm. You give haste, okay. You down first to start sweeping. This you're in front, but you won't have anything to gorge. You're just if I put you there, you'll just be the shield basically. I have heals though, so I don't need to worry about that. I can just go like this. Shield up there and you here. <laughs> you can sweep quickly to take care of some of the more dangerous things, and I can heal with them. Morsel needs to go here. Need to move someone to the front. I did it to them because these two are going to die anyway. I'd rather do it somewhere where it's going to have an impact. that rage ember drain purge that free blink a less free blink upgrade them damage the one that survives and increase my damage I've got a card that heals don't I where is that there it is one here. That will protect them a bit. They got held in place. I just might hold everything here it is. Do this again to get a stronger one. And I can just use my other spells, hopefully. I don't want to move them to the front. No point doing it up there, it won't buff him. Kind of close. the next floor can do it.
very good. What did I get? When a friendly is healed, deal damage equal to the amount healed. Deal damage to the front enemy equal to 10 times the amount of spikes on friendly units. I don't think I have spikes. Might be something worth looking into. Apply spikes. Draw more. I don't need draws. I'll grab the Bramble Lash. Hopefully I can get something to do with spikes later on. Deal damage or an extra action every turn. I like dealing damage. I've got ways to get more actions. I have a lot of damage spells. I definitely need some magic power increases. The start of my turn, get another, another sting spell. <laughs> or apply dazed if they get up near the top. More sting, yes. Could put hold over on this, that'd be good. Okay, that's the best thing to do. Hold over on this as well. More magic power. Could do it under Bramble Lash. There's good. There's good. Forty damage. I'd rather do it on excavation eruption basically turn my excavation eruption into another blazing bolt so it's the exact same thing except it gives me an action and i don't have it on hold over now for those train stewards goodbye Decent start up. Start with these two again. I should have done that. Well, I could have. Bad order. You can have some health. And you can get the other upgrades from these. Thirty damage four times. I can get two actions back. I'll do a free one first. Then I'll do the one that gives me more actions. Because I'll all die now. I've got some actions left. Let's get some more morsels. I'll put you out here. This is holdover. Does holdover only do it if I use it? It does. I don't know if that's what I want to do though. Let's put one of the damaged morsels there. The other two up here. It's not worthwhile. This is. I should have done the weak spells first. I'd like to hold over on that. Let's 
just too strong. Damage up, damage up. Sting, sting. Another spell, and I didn't kill you, and I ran out of actions. Start with the stings. Almost everything dies, let's get some more of them. Do the Rage and Ember Drain. Damage, plinks. Twice, three times. There we go, that's what I wanted. And you up here to give them a damage shield. Turn all to myself. Thank you. Ninety-one, is that all? Should do... A few hundred damage. These do the same amount of damage, but I'd rather the one with holdover so I can use it again next turn, because this won't kill it here. damage on the back one. More damage. This? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of damage helps, I guess. Once again, the holdover, including this one for more actions. Hold an enemy in place and draw an extra card. Store health and draw two cards, or store 30 health and apply regen. More free cards, please. Less space on the floor, more actions for the rest of the battle, but also come in handy. Shop, unit shop, I want the unit upgrade. Size, damage and health. <laughs> this really is a meat shield then, isn't it? At least it can do damage without needing to be fed. I'll do that there and this one on them. A lot of upgrades. And good thing I left the health upgrade back there. I can lose health and I can hopefully get it back. Summon a morsel miner on each floor at the start of the game. Very, very good. Nothing happened. Yep, 
He'll summon Blinding Dark Shard and Looming Dark Shard. And I spawn something. It will be too dizzy to attack the first turn. And when I cast a spell, all my spells get more expensive. It's on the pink one. Swore. Start with you at the front again, you at the back. Kinda wanna leave that there. But I will use the ones that aren't gonna kill them so this thing can get its damage up. Those will kill. This is the one that stops my units. So if I do this, it should be fine. Nice. Something like this. Warden can stand up here, that's why I put all those there. And before I do that, let's start the damage going. Damage. Damage. I need to I need to use the thorns soon I soon I think. Perfect. Less space on the floor. I what if I could put something here? Let's see. Hold over. Get some more actions. Damage, even though it does more armor than damage. I'm mostly doing it to make my thing stronger for later. I can always use the blazing bolts if it comes down to it. I don't think I have any one spot units apart from morsels. To so make this floor a bit smaller. It'll be fine. Let's just kill them already. Or at least everything around them. They got held in place. <laughs> Damage. Free blink. Free sting. Free damage. Free damage. I'll stand you here to eat those because something needs to. Oh no, I can't use this now. Whoops. How many are on the bottom floor? This is bad. Uh, What do you do? Explosion. Yikes. What have I done? Everything dies now. That's fine. Can 
I cast spells, everything gets worse. Okay. Well, I have to do this one. To get those actions. And I have to restore the health. Train still can go up there to be defended. Rage. All that's fine. Damage, damage, sting, sting, sting. More rage. Bring the stings out. At least the free ones. And this will do the most damage here. So it's a permanent increasing cost. They have expensive stings now, thanks to those crystals. Luckily for me, I still have a lot of cheap ones. Not enough. Oh no. Sting, 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 free blink. Blazing bolts. Okay, I guess it was enough. Draw a friendly unit to full health and swap damage and health. Yes. Got plenty of actions and plenty of cards. Could get more space again. More space would be nice. Or more actions. more space. I have cards that can handle the other two. This thing is giving me a lot of draws and that holdover Ember Drain card that gives me actions on that turn is giving me a lot of actions. I want whatever's in the caverns. <laughs> Guess we're getting an extra large train steward. Don't know if that's where I want to put my money. I'll hold on to my money. The Historian. Gift of Gratitude or Heaven's Gold or Petty Theft. Let's get Gift of Gratitude. This is just damage on the pyre. This is to get a lot of money. This one I can get rid of if I don't want to have it by purging it. But it will give me a one-off batch of money depending how many actions I have when I get rid of it, which is probably going to be a lot if I can do it correctly on the boss. Can't two or stat buff to damage, but less stat buff to health. I need the health up. A lot of health. And if I feed it the health morsels, I can swap the health and damage. Seventh fight, so I'm not putting that extra modifier on. Hmm. 
this is not ideal. Put you out. I have a lot of spin cards. Damage is going up. Let's do the damage up one more. And then swap it. 26 health. Uh, not yet. Good stop for you. I should wait until they're low health and then use it like a heal. That's what I should do. Shattered shell. The holdover. Apply the thorns. Get some morsels. Some thorns. Thorn, thorn, thorn. I kind of want them to get the kill. So I won't, they won't if I do that. Having this on holdover would be nice. There we go. First thing, apply the Rage and Denver Drain. Put you out here. I want the free blink. Three things first. Life still would be nice for you, and so would a bit more health. Your damage is going up with every spell anyway. That can go there. Could plink or I can do this. I want another card next turn. I like how everything gets held in place. Thirty damage. Forty damage. Do that. Fire up your damage a bit, that's good. You both get the buff. And again. Train stewards, not ideal. I'd rather save up the space for morsels. At the top works, there's plenty of space at the top. Could damage everything. Is that how I want to do it? Sting again. Satan's low health is when I want to use this. Uh, free thing to hold someone in place. They'll be held in place anyway, but it's an extra card I can get. I think I'll do this. Got some bonus actions. There we go. Ah, oh, free turn. I 
Oh, why'd I do that? Didn't even apply to this thing. It's the wrong floor for it. Ping, free ping. Definitely want that. Actions again. Sting, sting, sting. Damage, damage. Got that. I think I'll take and graft. I don't have that yet. So graft is a good way to get more actions as well. I don't want any of these. Draw a unit. Make it cheaper and give it more damage. Not really required. I've got that and I've got that. No. Let's save up for the end trinkets. It's one battle to go. The only units I can upgrade is the train steward, so let's go the spell path. Let's see what we can get. Could do holdover onto engraft maybe. Graft. One action. It's a free heal. And it's an extra draw. So it pays for itself if I do that. Plus it being a spell. I could cheapen it or I can use it for more healing. Leave it there for a second. I want to see what the trinkets are. Units get an extra upgrade slot. That's no good. Friendly units get three extra health. Gain seven action on the first turn. None of that's terribly good. I'll re roll. X cost cards get three to their value. It's just if I want money. I want money, but that's not going to be any good. Could make this cheaper so it's just legit free money. I'll do magic power on two. Probably this. All this? 40 damage. Yeah, 40 damage times 4. Could duplicate for more actions. I don't know what. What's the rare, rarest thing I've got? Gift of Gratitude's rare. Blazing Bolts are rare. Thing is, if I get another blazing bolts, it's pointless because they have holdover anyway. Unless I have six action to use, which I doubt. Crucible warden could be good. More free actions. Yeah. 
It's a lot of free actions now. Double stack. Could double stack one of them, but it's still going to give me the same amount of actions. Just more Ember Drain. Magic Power would make this do something. I'd rather do it on one of the links because they're kind of weak. Expensive double stack. No, I don't want to make spells more expensive. I need to make them cheaper. A free root seed. Hmm. I need the free heals. It's the only healing card I've got. So if I see it, I've got to be able to get it. Once again, that's not worth it. Wish me luck. Hmm. Not the best. He'll just about die if I put him out. Kind of what I need to do though. He's got sweep and he'll hold him down there, but it'll get out of hand really quickly. The other sweep person isn't there. I'd rather put them here this time, I think. That's. That's. Why does it always make me do the same thing through the whole thing, but then deviate on the last bus? I want to keep doing it the same, because that's. Proven to work. Uh, if I do you here, I get the stings anyway. Let's use those stings down here. And the mine grasp. And get myself some more morsels. Shadow Edict can go here. The ton of morsels behind. I'll put one more morsel down here. Let's get more thorns. Oh, I should have used some first. I lost that on it. can eat, but you're usually good at the top. Mm. That's better. I give you some life steal. You sweep. Oh, so much for that. Drain and a free action. Get rid of this sweeping guy at the back, sting at the front. Swap damage and health, but it's only worth it if they're gonna die, I reckon. Got the actions to use those, they will be held in place. Can't use it on them. Imagine if I could swap the boss's damage and health. That would be great. Just give them 2,000 attack, but like 5 health. <laughs> They'd kill the front thing, but then 
<laughs> I could probably kill him with a morsel or something. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather the train steward die. Heals. Hold over rage. Some damage onto you because you need it. Ding. I can erupt on everything and then I can use the hold over bolts on the rest and another train steward meat shield. This is funny, I just go from having no actions to like seven actions every turn. Like so. Heals. Three flink. I'll hold you in place. I'll sting. Bring you to the front. And blazing bolts on everything. <laughs> Strong. That's not going to survive, is it? No. Awesome. This might be my first Covenant Awoken win, if this works out. I do like all these holdover things. Three, four, five, six. I can afford to use everything, so let's use everything. Extra action per turn. Sure. and we only deal 219 damage. Let's fix that. Sting, sting, sting. Three damage to the boss. That and this. Yikes. units. It's no good. I cannot get a win with Awoken with a Covenant rank. Oh well. That's the last level. Six space, six action. 
200 damage, 150 health. Very strong, very large. Hmm. Still stuck on Covenant 7. Let's try something else. Let's do let's try the daily challenge, see what that's about. I haven't done these yet. Melting remnant with Rector. An allied clan is awoken with the standard restore. All friendly units are larger. Okay. Eight calcified amber into my starting deck. I have way bad cards. Maybe my friend's done it. No. And all cards have an additional upgrade slot. So two bad mutators and one good one. Let's see what happens. Probably die straight away. <laughs> Wait, what's the covenant on it? Rank 1. Not that bad then. There's six people, huh. Random starting cards, Dripfall, Sting, and Remnant Host. Alright. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Dark Forge Horde. Let's go to the Horde first. Let's buff all the train stewards. Train steward upgrades, good. Reform units or harvest. I think reforming. If I can bring back those train stewards, for example. How many people have died on the first battle? There's a few crash trains I saw there. <laughs> 75 coins, let's go. bottom and I'll purge one of the calcified embers. Get rid of it. It's tough. I can place one train steward out. Descend you, because you're harmless. Those die. I can sting you and put a train steward down here as well to get some damage going. Everything's large. Don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Restore twice. Those die. So I, so I can't afford that. Dreg, I think I can wait on that. Oh, I should have done it so it could burn out. Right. Two drafts when you die. I mean, sure. Put one drag here, get rid of an ember. Thing. Another drag heals. Yikes. And they're going to get through, aren't they? Could daze. 
both of them, perhaps. And a heal would make you last longer. That's as far as you're going to get. That's all I can do. Took some damage. Health 2 or permanent damage? Both good. Not sure. I think I'll grab the permanent damage because this is right at the start. Let's get some more sting spells because I'm going to need to rely on the sting spells a bit. Because, yeah, everything's large. I can't place very many things. I need, I need more space. Sweep and slay for damage, yes. Endless onto the bounty stalker. <laughs> Here I can increase the burnout on a drag. Damage and health on to the shattered shell. A unit draft? No. We've got enough units for now. I'm more interested in this endless guy. Get some kind of insane damage. There, you here, and might as well restore. That's you here, and Sting. Train steward won't fit. Oh no. The drag can fit though. that down here. And do one of the stings there. Two of them here. That's everything sorted out. Now I can focus on perhaps getting rid of the ambers. Put you out because you're free. I'll put you out to protect my main guy. He's doing all the revives. I'll get rid of one more ember. Days twice. And sting. And put a few drafts out the, at the back here, perhaps. Yeah, the drafts can go here. So I want him to die so I can get him stronger. So this guy has to move up one floor. He dies as planned. 
There we go, top floor can kill him easy now. Hello Drippings. Hello Drippings would be good, I think, because for when I have a lot of things that I've restored. Let's see. Hello Drippings. Yeah, I've got a few things that have burnout to begin with anyway. And again, I do have a lot in my hand in my deck. I'll skip for now. And I'll skip again. Let's go this way. We need something on our spells. Cash on kill. Hold over on two. I could get a sting hold over, but that's kind of pointless. Could do hold over, magic power, and cheat. So, in that case, it'd be worth putting onto one of the dazed. Magic power into Sting. And now I can freely daze, so if there's something that's attacking that I don't want to attack, I can stop it attacking most turns. Throw something in. Woken card or Melting Remnant? Let's get another Melting Remnant card. Consume cards in hand and get a draft unit that's strong. This would be a good thing to use those Ambers on. How many do we start with? Eight. <laughs> I'm happy with that trade. Fading seal constructed explosives enter with damage shield. That's going to be a bit tricky, so I can't really reliably kill the explosives. I just have to survive them. Then again, if I put my burnout units in front, okay. start with you down there to deal the initial damage. I'd usually put you up top, but I don't want you to die straight away. doing I put Rector here with a drag in front could sweep for the bus why not Summon drafts when he dies. That's good. He's too big. You're gonna die. this and now I'll just get rid of one of those free 
three drip fall. I don't want my main guy to die. Bottom's fine. Top needs that. Might need you here too. And I'll drop you, because you're not going to be harmful if you go upwards. Heels can go on to Rector, I guess. That was bad. Wet chicken sandwich. Thanks for the, thanks for the bits, Epic. You die. You die. Let's put you behind, because it's good when you die. Good for you buy myself a little bit more time. One train steward on the bottom. This is pretty tough. Put you there because you're invisible. You'll die from the explosive. I, th I thought the explosive would have missed him because he's invisible. Oh well. Drafts there. Heals. Another draft. Now drip fall you. I can keep delaying like that. This is good. 20 damage. Discard cards. I'd like to discard a lot of those stings. And again, I've got to put you out somewhere. Either way. That's fine. If I use the strong sting, you die. You out. Let's consume the other cards for a strong draft. Why not? And I let it die. I got it back though. It's fine. Can't get rid of this one at the back. He's going to attack my health. Nothing I can do about it. I should have gotten rid of the Ember. Oh no, I can't get reforms now that he's dead. I do have the Endless Guy though. Which is kind of lucky. He's going to make it through. Everything's too big. No. It's my first attempt at a daily run. So that's, that's the play I made. Maybe not the best options. I 
And what were the uh, global? Why do I have uh, 281st? I was wondering why I was at the top. I didn't do that well. Highest score is this 50,000. I don't even know how you get a score that high. Let's see what they did. So they got the Animus of Will and they ended up putting multi strike on it and making it even bigger. We did 439 on them that they stacked it up to. Looks like they got endless on them like I did, but they got more upgrades. I wonder how they got 8 excavated embers. How do you turn those embers into these? Weird. They also had an upgraded sting. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I got all of them to level 10 today, so I'm fairly happy with that. Still no masterful borders on Awoken. For some reason, I particularly struggle with them. I think because I tend to keep going for Sting builds, and Sting isn't that good against the final boss. But it's good up until then. I think that's where I'll be stopping for now. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye. See if there's anyone to raid. Why aren't the credits loading? Credits, please. There they go. Let's raid J Man Flex. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Stay safe.